Ace money to name, getting paper to gain. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E. We're handicappers, so it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I mean, it's money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got Monday Night Football, Giants going into Pittsburgh to play the Steelers. Lines opened up at plus four, total 42 and a half, and uh, it's Pittsburgh being the favorite, minus 185. A uh, little bit of line movement. Jumped up to plus six for the Giants. Still the underdog. Uh, total went down 36 and a half. Uh, Pittsburgh having a great D and uh, Giants not putting up many points. Uh, still the favorite. The Steelers jumped up to minus 265 is the best you can get it. Uh, got a little game breakdown. Nothing crazy. But uh, let's get into that. Tomlin, coach of the Steelers. Giants is two and five, and the Steelers are five and two. Giants coming off a loss. Uh, got destroyed by the Eagles, 28 to three. Then Steelers coming off a win. First game with uh, Russell Wilson as the QB. Uh, 37 to 15, they beat the Jets. Uh, Giants, two and 11 in the last 13 Monday Night Football games. Steelers, 21 straight wins on Monday Night Football. Uh, four out of the last five, they beat the Giants. Uh, three straight. Uh, Giants struggling to score. Only uh, 14 points a game. They've been scoring. You can see that over here. Steelers, uh, that's ranked 31st in the league. Steelers are only allowing 14 points a game. Ranked second in the league. Steelers are doing well in all three phases. Um, they got a great special teams, too. They got two field goals uh, blocked, a punt blocked. Uh, got a great kicker, Boswell, 19 out of 20 for the year. Only one he missed was a 65-yarder. Uh, Giants been struggling. Their kicker, uh, Greg Gano, he got hurt. They got a new kicker, Greg Joseph. Uh He's 8 for 11, but the ones he missed, he, uh, th- he should have got them. Uh, Giants do got a good D-line. They uh, lead the NFL in sacks. And the O-line is struggling, especially on the right side for the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. They got a backup, uh, inexperienced center in their right tackle. And right guard are also young and inexperienced. So I expect the Giants to uh, attack him through that side to try to put pressure on Wilson. Uh, left guard and left tackle are veterans. But uh, they're going to attack that right side. Uh, we just looked through this. If you have time, uh, it's team rankings. mentioned it before, but it's pretty good. Uh, we're right here. It's overall. Points per game, Giants scoring 14, Pittsburgh's allowing 14, the second. Yards a game, 290, Giants are getting, Pittsburgh's allowing 298. That's sixth in the league, Giants 27th in the league. Third down conversion, they're 25th. Uh, Pittsburgh's allowing 34%, they're number 11. So they're definitely better. Uh, Red zone scoring 42.11%. Giants 30, ranked 31 in the NFL. Pittsburgh D's for allowing 42.86%. That's number four in the NFL. So uh, some big differences. Touchdowns a game. Giants scoring 1.4. 31st in the NFL. Pittsburgh's only allowing 1.6. That's third in the NFL. And then this side over here would be Pittsburgh first Giants defense. And then it goes down and you get the Russian the Russian part of it. Uh, Russian plays, Russian yards. Uh, how many rushes per game? Russian yards per game, 101 Giants are getting. Uh, 
ranked 25th. Pittsburgh's only allowing 81 in second in the NFL. And which we'll jump on the other side, Pittsburgh's getting 134 yards a game rushing, and they're ranked eighth. Giants are allowing 138, ranked 23rd. So I look for Pittsburgh, Najee Harris to run all over the Giants, just like uh, what happened to Giants last week. Uh, Saquon Barkley, it was a return, his first game against the Giants, but still he beasted them. Uh, we got the passing game. Once again, this is Giants versus Pittsburgh D on the right here. Uh, Passing yards a game, 189, they're ranked 24th. Pittsburgh's allowing 217, they're ranked 20th. So they're a little bit more even there. Uh, Pittsburgh's throwing 180, ranked 28th. And Giants, number six, allowing 179. So there's a little vice versa. The Giants got some good pass D, too. Uh, Kicking. Big difference. 27th. Uh, they're allowing fourth because they got, do have a couple blocks. Um, fifth and seventh, even on that side. Turnover ratios. Penalties. Penalties is a big thing, uh, especially in player props. You know how many plays I've cashed? But having cash because the guys, receivers would catch the ball and be a, you know, a holding call or whatever, a run play, and then it gets called back. Like a lot of the plays, if if you pay attention to yourself, you you'll see a lot of these plays are actually working. But it's just you get the shit end of the deal when something like that happens. So teams that cause a lot of penalties, messing it up for us. But uh, yeah, I got some player props. Let's get into them. All right, first up, uh, tight end, Pat Faramuth, receiving yards over 24 and a half, uh, minus 140 FanDuel, 150 DraftKings. I'm sure you got multiple books. Uh, line opened at 29 and a half, so I was able to alt line it down. Uh, some books have a 25 plus. Uh, kind of feel comfortable with it at 28, but I always go for the lower number. If you haven't noticed, sportsbooks always right on. That's why we hook a lot. Uh, for the year, for five out of seven. Um, last game, this is the first one with Wilson. He went over it. Getting plenty of targets, plenty of receptions. Wilson's that type of quarterback where... He could uh, he get air the ball. He gets a lot of air yards. That's the distance between the the receiver and the quarterback, basically. Um, but as well as he'll make the right read. So he'll he'll take basically what the defense is giving him. Uh, Giants overall eighth in receiving yards allowed to the tight end position is ranked fourth. I believe that's why this number is lower. But uh, he's going to get a few shots. Uh, it might be, um, it's going to be situational football. If you've watched, you've heard me say that uh, two-minute drill before the half or a third down conversion or a two-minute drill at the end of the game, uh, mostly third down plays, stuff like that, or receivers get locked up. And he'll do that check down. Uh, hopefully, he, he can uh, get some yaks, yards after the catch, and uh, go over this pretty quickly. So let's get it. Fairmuth. Uh, as I explained earlier, how uh, Giants aren't that great against the run, going Najee Harris. Uh, been on the team a couple years. This year he's running real hard. Big guy, strong, north to south, uh, hard to tackle. Wears him down. By the second half, he's uh, he's running through him. 59 and a half, all lined it down a little bit. 148, Fandle, 
Uh, Got to have multiple books. Say it all the time. You got a 160 on DraftKings. Those are the two main books in New York where I am. Last two yards, over 100 yards a game. Uh, Cleared this five out of seven. Uh, Expect them to do the same. Giants overall, it's ranked 23rd in rushing yards. 22nd to the running back. Excuse me. Uh, Getting a decent amount of attempts. Uh, Warren did come back. Uh, he was Jalen Warren, he was hurt a couple games, uh, so he'll get some carries. But uh, yeah, Najee Harris, let's get it. Play is for you. If you could hit that like button, new viewers, uh, if this works out for you. Subscribe. Let's turn on the notifications. This way you get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. Uh, I'll try to be as transparent as possible. If you got any extra time, just leave a comment. Uh, likes and comments help get the videos out there, as well as uh, the interaction between us. Uh, you know, I, I've only been YouTube in a couple months, trying to get the subscriptions up there, so I don't get paid for this yet. Uh, it does take a lot of time and effort, so the communication, the comments, uh, it just makes it feel worth it. Uh, for those people who do comment and like, I do appreciate you. Uh, I started tracking my bets a little over a month ago. This new uh, bet tracker. Uh, we're up in all sports. Doing pretty good. Nothing crazy. Uh, keep in mind that my unit size up until week seven has been $25 a play. And I just changed it uh, week eight uh, to 35 So we're up a lot of units. I don't know the exact amount. But... Uh, Started tracking on the 19th. So, you know, 61% hit rate so far, a little over a month. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone. Let's get it. I got it at 12 and a half. Uh, it's up to 14 and a half. I think you get it at 13 and a half on some books. But just keep an eye on it. Uh, a little hit or miss. You know, I did go over this last game. Um, Giants overall, 27th in receiving yards allowed. Uh, excuse me, 8th in receiving yards allowed. They got some good DBs and stuff. But, uh, and also people are just running all over them, so they're not throwing it as much. But uh, to the running back, they're ranked 27th. The real problem is they got a good D-line, so they get into the quarterback, not giving people a chance to throw it. So that's where this play comes into as well. Short check downs, uh, hot routes, get rid of the ball quick. But, uh, yeah, uh, Harris will catch some passes if that's how the play ends up. Like I said earlier, too, Wilson's going to give – he's going to take what the defense is giving him. And uh, as you see, ranked 27th out of the 32 teams, they are uh, – they're giving up some yards to the running back. Nothing crazy, but 11 and a half, 12 and a half, 14 and a half. I think it's just too low. Um, yeah, so let's get it. Jalen Warren. Over 11 and a half receiving yards. Minus 125 DraftKings. Uh, line did go up a little bit. Back down, back up. Uh, Get it the best line you can. Uh, don't look too great. Nothing crazy. Uh, he just really started playing again. As well as he used to be a receiver uh, in college and stuff. So they'll line him up on the outside as well. He'll take on or on the inside and he can take on the linebacker. He can catch well. Uh, receiving yards allowed, rank 22nd. Pittsburgh is ranked 28th to the running back position. Uh, I just believe it fits into this game. Giants are going to have a problem running the ball as it is. So when you have a problem like that, you do uh, the check downs and stuff like that, try to get them to the outside screens. Uh, I think he's going to be able to get a couple plays and just go over this. Uh, he's got hands, like I said. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if you're still watching this, 
uh, hit that like button. New viewers, subscribe, and uh, let's get it. Appreciate it, everyone. Good to be back. Ace money to name, get paper to game. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.